Hello YouTube. So, today I'm going to show you how to put Xbox games, only the original, not the 360, on your PSP, which works with PSP 1000, 2000, and 3000. So, first, you want to go to this link, which I've posted in the description, and save it, or just save it to my desktop, well, I already have it, because I uploaded it. Now, what you're going to want to do, after it finishes downloading, you're just going to run it, and you will want to put the Xbox game in your computer's disk drive. Now, what this does is, it will extract the disk image from the Xbox game, and then convert it to a format which the PSP can read. Now, next, we're going to go to the PSP, so, or stop recording on the screen, and get you a real recording for the next part. Hey guys, so, I'm back from the first part and I've finished taking the image so basically just had to put the Xbox DVD in the drive and then open the program which I have right here so you just run this which will allow you to not only rip the disk image but it also automatically converts it into a PlayStation Portable disk image so it can be emulated perfectly. Now, as you can see, I have done Halo 2, so I don't really need the disc in here anymore. So I don't need, so I'll just put that aside for now. So, the next step, you're going to want to take your PSP, I have a PSP 1000. Now, you want to take its USB mini cable, which is also just the PS3 cable for connecting a controller to the PS3. And you want to plug in, so you plug in the first part right in the USB slot. Next, you're going to want to plug in the mini USB like so. So, next you want to go to select USB connection. Now, what this is going to do is allow us to transfer our file. So now, we're going to go here and let me wait for it to show up. Okay, so now I just got to copy the Halo image to the PSP using our computer. So I'll be right back in about five minutes after it's done with that, because it'll take a little bit to copy. Alright, so it's been about ten minutes, not just five, it was a kind of large file. But anyway, it's finished copying, so now. What we're going to do next is, you can take, you can unplug the mini USB now. So, let's see. Now, you need to take the actual disc itself again. Now, this can get a bit complicated for some. Now, you see, you have to place it like so, in a very dignified fashion. Now, the PlayStation Portable, it will use infrared signals to read the disc. Now, the only problem with this is, when you have it like this, you see, the disc is kind of in the way of most of the screen, except for, like, a, that small circle in the middle. But, still, it's pretty impressive to be able to have an Xbox game on your PSP. 
If you found this tutorial informational, then subscribe. Bye.